Hi, this is Matt McCoy from Loop Community, and today I'm going to show you how to build a worship set in Ableton. So when you first open up Ableton, you'll see something like this. And what we're going to do is I have two audio tracks here, and I'm going to rename this one to Cues. This is where I'm going to put all of my band cues. And this one I'm going to right-click and rename it to Loops, and this is where I'll put all my loops. So our first song will be Forever Rain. Over here in the left-hand side of the screen, we'll see your file browser. This is where all my loops are. These are a bunch of loops that I downloaded from Loop Community. So I'm going to open up Forever Rain, and I'm going to drag the Q file here, and then the stereo loop file here. The split file we're not going to use because um, that has click on the left and loop on the right, and that would work really great if we were running loops from an iPod. But for this instance, we're going to use Q's and then the stereo loop file. So then I'm also going to right click and rename this scene over here to Forever Rain. And I'm also going to put the BPM in there. So I know that Forever Rain is at 83 because in the file name it says Forever Rain, key of C, 83. So I'm going to right click, edit launch tempo, and type in 83. We're also going to put the time signature in there. So I know the song is in 4-4. Four, four. So I'm going to type 4-4. Four, four. Let's go ahead and add our second song. Our second song will be from the inside out. I'm going to drag the Q file and then the loop file here. And let's do the same. I'm going to rename and edit launch tempo, 70 BPM. And this one as well is at 4.4. Great. And we'll do one more. Our third song will be Holy. Actually, our third song will be How He Loves, because let's do one in 6.8. So I'm going to drag the Q file here and the loop file here. Rename. And I'm just going to do a semicolon. And How He Loves is at 74 BPM. You can just type it in. That's another way to do it. Semicolon. And I know this one's at 6.8, so I'll do 6.8. Great. Our fourth song we're going to do doesn't have any loops with it, but it's going to be um, Revelation Song. And we're going to do it at 76 BPM and 4.4. Four. But we don't have a loop for it. But we still want to play to a click. So, okay, the next thing I'm going to do because I like to color coordinate things. I'm going to change the color of these clips. You can select them and right click and then choose a color. Kind of helps split it out. You can change the color of these as well. Kind of makes it easier to find the songs and the loops you're looking for. Whoops. Great. Makes it a little cleaner. Okay, so let's go ahead and play this and see what see what we got. Intro two turn the click three, on. Three, four. Great. Now I, I launch from the inside out. Intro. So my cues two, are coming down here. Three, four. My loops are coming here. How he loves, we'll see it switch to six eight. The metronome did. Intro. One. And two, seventy four. Great. Now, let's go ahead and let's just say that you get into rehearsal and you're like, wait a minute, I want to change the tempo and the key of Forever Rain. Well, Intro you can do that by two. using warping. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to double click on the loop file here, and we're going to warp this. An important thing to know is that before you hit this warp button, you need to have the original tempo set up here in the tempo box. So it says 83. So now I can hit warp. And I know that it warped correctly because I can see right here in this little box that says segment BPM, it says 83 BPM. That's good. That should always say the original tempo of the song. If that said 90, I'd be in trouble. So it said 83 because I originally had it set to 83 up here. So now that it's warped, I'm going to go ahead and... Um, Let's go and warp the Q file as well. You want to make sure you warp them both. 
And now that they're warped, I can change the tempo of this Intro, on the fly. Two, three, I'm gonna click four. up here in the tempo box. And I can click and drag and you can hear it change time. You can hear how it's a little bit choppy and a way to fix that is down here in the warp box Two, three, four. there's a box that says beats I'm going to change this to complex we'll do the same thing for the Q file great so now we're warped and we can do that song at whatever tempo we want but let's just say too we want to do it in a different key well now that it's warped I can use this transpose feature check this out Intro, two, so it's in the key three, of C four. but let's say we want to do it in the key of D now each one of these is a half step. So we're in C sharp now. And now we're in D. That's a really great way to transpose a loop. Cool. So you could warp all the rest of your loops. And then maybe once you know, like, okay, now I, I know I want to do forever in it 90 now, I could change this to 90. And it'll be okay because these are warped at the original tempo down here. Intro, two, three, four. Now we're doing it at 90. And the key of D, because I transposed it. Now let's, also, now let's go ahead and uh, launch a Revelation song. And you notice that when I hit this launch button, nothing plays. And the reason is because there's nothing in this row for Ableton to play. So we need to give Ableton something to play. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go to create and insert MIDI track. And we're going to move this over here. I'm going to rename this MIDI track to click only. And what we're going to do is we're, I'm just going to double click in this clip slot. And it's going to add a blank MIDI clip. There's nothing in it. It's just empty. But now there's something in this scene for Ableton to play. So when I hit Revelation Song, it started playing the click at 76 which is what I set it to so that's a good way to kind of get around where if you want if you have a song that you don't have a loop for but you want to play to a click a click then you can go ahead and just uh, add a scene there and a blank MIDI clip so now what I would do now that I have my worship set uh, kind of put together I could assign key commands to my songs so forever rain I'm gonna hit button one on my keyboard and then from the inside out is button two. How he loves is button three. Revelation song is key four. Now I leave key mode, and when I hit number three on my keypad, it'll launch how he loves. Intro. Or when I hit number two, One, two three. it's going to launch from the inside out. Intro. Two, so that can make it really three, easy then four. Intro. for your drummer or whoever's running your loops just to launch the songs really fast. Um. Another thing you want to look at is your audio routing. So if you click down here in the bottom right corner, there's this little I.O. button. And this pulls up the audio ins and outs for all the channels. So a couple things to note here. I'm just using my headphone jack. So for my cues, I'm going to want that to go right here's your audio outs. These are your audio ins. Down here is your audio outs. I'm going to tell my cues to go out output 1. I'm going to tell my loops to go out external out output two, which is the right side of my headphone jack. One is left side, two is the right side of the headphone jack. So over here is Q out. This is where the Ableton click comes out. So we're gonna choose one, because I want that to go out with the cues. And master out, we don't even need to mess with that because I already manually told where the loop track should go. So now my routing should be good. Intro, two, you can actually intro, hear the click two, on the left three, and the loops four. can be on the right. So hopefully that helps. A very quick, fast overview of how to build a worship set in Ableton. We're glad you're part of the community.